part of my new Making Faces collection is the Magnetic Personality Brush Set. It's a really handy way of storing your brushes just where you need them the most and also helps look after your brush health. You're meant to hang your brushes upside down after you've cleaned them so that water doesn't go into the ferrule and erode it over time. And if you have a favorite brush, and I'm sure that these ones will become favorites for you, just as they have for me, you want to be able to look after them so that they last, so that you'll have them whenever you need them. Because it's magnetic, that little frame can also be used as a little pinup board. And can we just pause for a moment and admire the beautiful gold scales? I love mermaids, and there's lots of mermaid magic in these brushes for you. Now, the shape and design of each of the brush heads means that they're going to be suitable for all sorts of purposes, but especially for everything in the Making Faces collection. So you can use them with your acrylic paint, with your gessos, your matte mediums, with watercolor, with pastels, with uh, the paints, with ink, with the color sticks, everything. I'm actually sketching with one of the color sticks from the Silky Skin set. I love sketching on top of dry acrylic paint with these. So in the background, I've already got a little layer from leftover paint from painting something else, uh, just some paint splashed down from the Matchmaker set. My acrylic paints are very, very matte and they go on very creamy, so it's a luxury experience. Um, I love I love just not creating art. I love the way it makes me feel. So uh, as a designer, a lot of what I do, a lot of time, a lot of energy goes into the whole experience for you as well because I get so much joy from the actual act, the process. Uh, you just saw me using one of the new Magnetic Personality brushes. Now I'm using one of the Drama Sticks. These are not water soluble, but I can use one of the brushes to blend them as well because they're such a soft, creamy consistency. Now in my hand, I have one of the Ultimate Pens and just drawing in some details in black and adding incredible ink, spreading it out with one of the smaller brushes from the Magnetic Personality set. Just to show you can use them with abandon. You don't have to think about any rules. You don't have to think, oh, is this a watercolor brush? Is this a pastel brush? Is there such a thing? Uh, is, is this for acrylic? You can just dive in. I've even got, um, brush buff and a little brush spa set so that you can take care of your brushes. Uh, acrylics can be hard on paint brushes, but we can still look after them, give them a little shampoo and condition treatment just to uh, look after them, give them that extra longevity. And of course, once you've washed them, you can hang them upside to dry in the little magnetic frame. When you are switching between different uh, medias, say for instance from acrylics and watercolor, and then you might want to use them for the pastels, like these shimmering pastels that I have on screen at the moment, just make sure your brush is dry. If you get your palette pastels or shimmering pastels wet a couple of times because you accidentally put on a, a, a brush that has a little bit of uh, moisture in it, it's not going to ruin your pastels, but over time, if you did that, tens of times you would make the pastels harden up which just makes them more difficult to apply. I like to give my paint brushes a thorough clean after I have used a lot of acrylic paint or a lot of gesso with them. So all you need to do is rinse them in water. I like to dry them off with a paper towel, pop them upside down like that, let them hang to dry. It doesn't take them too long. And although what you're seeing is far quicker than what I would be creating in real time, this is very much very typical of how I do create, starting with something that's randomly already on a journal page, adding a little bit of a sketch. Very often I don't have 
a outcome projected or I don't have a really clear idea of where I'm heading to, I just like to see who falls out of the pen or the pencil and just really try and stay in the process. And again, that's why it's so important to me uh, as a designer and as a consumer of my own art supplies to have things that just allow that creative process as much leeway and latitude as possible. So in the background, I'm just trying to define or add a bit of definition to specific areas of my little subject. I really am enjoying the uh, feeling of the girl here that I've created. I'm using ultimate pens, which are waterproof once they're dry. But if I use a damp brush, one of the little flat magnetic personalities with it, I can um, smudge it a little bit before it dries permanently. And I'm doing that again in this ultimate pen, which uh, the color name of this one is Daisy Dukes. So as you can see, I wash things as I go. Uh, I'm using all sorts of different art supplies with each brush. I don't believe in rules for art. I like to feel free and enjoy the process. If you'd like to see how other people use their Jane Davenport Mixed Media art supplies, why don't you join our Facebook group? Look for Jane Davenport Mixed Media on Facebook and you can find me as Jane Davenport on Instagram and everywhere else in the known universe. <laughs>